Hey everyone, Miss Copera here. We're gonna do a quick class exercise with our markers to dive into some semester two skill building. Um, I recommend that you do this um, before you do any sort of work, um, but you have all your markers here, yes? And what I want you to do is I want you to arrange them by value. And what I mean by that is lights and darks. And we've done this exercise before with color pencils. Maybe you missed it. But um, take a moment. Think what is the lightest value, the color with the, the least amount of black. If you said yellow, that is correct. So I'm going to pull out all of my yellows. And you can do this with me. All the different shades of yellow. And I'm going to put them over to the left. Okay, as we work on a color value scale. Okay, color that is the darkest, that has the most black is obviously black. For me, that's 120. Okay, I'm just cleaning a workspace. Make sure you always have an open workspace when you're working. Okay, so blue has the most amount of black. I just gave away an answer, but just so you know, Blue has the most amount of black. Now this is more of a tint because it has white. So we could kind of put that over there. So it's kind of like you have to make a judgment call. You know, what do you think is the darkest? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a visual journal page where we just kind of do observations about the colors that we have. Now your colors may be a little different. Green is a lot like blue, so I'm gonna put that over here. And you know, you may change your mind about certain values um as we go um and i really wish you could see like the top i'm trying to think about ways that i could stand everything up is there a creative way that i can sorry guys i'm thinking out loud okay um this cool gray is very dark so i'm gonna put that over there so keep arranging and you can also think about things like weight like this 26 this feels almost like white now this cool gray, maybe that's more of a middle tone. Definitely like lighter. Look at how dark this purple is, right? That has a lot of black. It's very intense, it's very heavy. I wanna move it over closer to black, right? So as you can see, we really do have a lot of markers here and you should have a lot of colors. Some of you have sets of 50 at home, right? You lucky ducks. So this is kind of like lighter. All right, now we've got some middle grays, some warmer grays, so we're kind of exploring them. Okay, that's clear, this is zero. It's kind of like clear. So just so you guys know, I, I have the hoo-hoo markers. Okay, there's a, these are a set of 40. Now everyone has different colors. BG9, you can do this with this exercise with any kind of sets of markers or color pencils. I've done this exercise with color pencils. Okay, this red's kind of like a middle, in the middle, right? It's very intense, but it's sort of in the middle, so I'm gonna, I mean, you can see I'm adjusting as I go. I'm gonna put that maybe here. Now, I don't know, I think this blue, even though it's got a lot of black, I think this red's got more black. So, um, you know, you wanna adjust, like this pink right here. Well, that should probably go over here. Right, so again, we're arranging our colors from light to dark, meaning which colors are the darkest or look the darkest. Okay, dark having a lot of black. I'm gonna put this over here, very intense, heavy color. I'm feeling like it goes maybe over here. And I'm kind of making adjustments, maybe this one. No, I'm gonna leave that one there. Purple's a pretty dark color too. Okay, this 68 is a really light tint. I'm gonna move that over here. And I recommend, you know, keeping things organized and doing several color sorting exercises as we get back into the groove of things. And you're thinking about colors, lights, and darks. That's kind of what we're doing this week. Okay, fabulous. So I think I have an idea of what's going on. I want to make some adjustments. This gray, I think, will go over there. Um, this purple feels like it belongs here. Here, though I'm not sure about that. This brown goes over here. Oh, this is tricky. This color is in the wrong place. I'm moving that way over. I'm moving this down. Okay, it's tricky because of some colors I want to put next to each other because they just, they look alike. So 
I'm still making adjustments, flipping colors around. Okay, that looks sort of good. This is lighter. Okay, no, maybe, maybe all the way down there. Wow. All right, so I'm kind of like arranging all the colors light to dark. I'm looking, looking, seeing if anything feels a little off. These greens seem light, but they got a lot of blue. This pink doesn't feel like it belongs. I'm going to move this over here. Okay, you can do these exercises as many times as you want with whatever art supplies. Just think about your colors in terms of value. Lights and darks. Um, it really will help your thinking when you're sketching. Um, this is hard. This feels out of place. Now remember, this is subjective. Okay, so this is a very subjective kind of exercise. So like, you know, it depends on how you see things as well. This feels, this brown feels out of place. I'm gonna move it there. These browns feel darker. And maybe it's because these purples feel a little out of place. So the middle I'm finding is really tricky. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all of these up. Okay, I'm gonna keep them in order. So again, you need a clean workspace. So you have about 40. And um, let me take this off of. Okay guys, so now you can kind of see where my colors are. I just wanted to stop and like pull it down. Okay, so this would be my light values. And then it's getting darker, darker. That feels, this feels like it, it doesn't belong here. All right, so you might make some adjustments here and there. I would love for you guys to like let me know if you disagree with anything because teachers are never right. I don't know about this pink. This pink. Yeah, look, these pinks are basically the same color. What is this? Nine and nine? Nine and six? Did they send me two of the same color? Gotta call the company. Like this, I feel like goes over there. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're gonna see what it looks like in our sketchbooks. Okay guys, so I'm back. I'm gonna find a fresh page. Um, and you know, if you've been hanging on in the class and keeping up, your sketchbook should be pretty full. This page doesn't need to be perfect. Like I got some bleeding coming through right here, so that's cool. And let's just call this um, sketchbook page, um, um, color, and you know what, I'm gonna turn it to the side. Right? And I'm not gonna trip about it being a little messed up. Like color value scale, okay? And we're gonna go from dark all the way to light. And other words to think about are, um, I'm gonna actually, wipe this out. This is bothering me. I'm going to get rid of that. I'll get rid of that in a second. Uh, other way to think about this is uh, tints and shades, right? So a shade, just so you know, is a color plus black and a tint is a color plus white. So what we're doing is we're kind of doing, we're easing into things with lights and darks and talk, thinking about color theory. Lights and darks and color theory. So just kind of like reviewing that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I got, as you can see, I have all my markers in front of me and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a little chart, I think. I think I'll use this pen you know, to kind of help. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just make a stripe for each color. Okay, starting all the way over here. So your colors might be different. Okay, so obviously white is my zero. Um, so this is color 26 and I'll do a little box around it. So just so you guys know, um, and when I've been teaching art, Zero means white, when I talk numbers in value. Dark is, uh, would be a 10, I call it a 10. And then let's do five in the middle. So we're just kind of making a rough little scale as we're thinking about things. Okay, and then um, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm not getting out my ruler, it doesn't need to be perfect. 
you guys are more than welcome to like measure this and make it perfect, but I feel like when we want things to be perfect in art, we are, we fail with our exploration. You know, it takes too long. Okay, you can't wait for your life to be perfect. Okay, so I'll just kind of color this sort of a middle, middle tone color. And I really wanted to do this earlier, but we got so busy with project work. Okay, so there is no right and there's no wrong. And we're just gonna write if we agree or disagree. Okay, so this is, for me, it's 45. Now your numbers might be different. 45, now why, like why are you doing the numbers? Because, whoa, look at that, that is darker. Because maybe when you're coloring or you're working on sketches later on, um, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff. You'll be able to find colors quicker because you're like, oh, what, what is that really light yellow? And you might remember the number. Okay, now this seems lighter. So I kind of disagree with that. Okay, and this is sort of fluorescent. This is kind of like a highlighter. I'm gonna call this F01. All right, moving on. And am I still recording? Yeah, I'm just making sure it's still recording. So I'm gonna make a little note right here. I feel like this goes here. And you know, if you feel like it's off, just draw an arrow. Wow. 35. So maybe the F stands for, for fluorescent. So oop, I'm gonna write my 35 right there. You should have a black pen, comes really in handy. You should have gotten one during supply distribution. Black pens really come in handy. Okay, ooh, I love this color. This is a time to get to know what colors you like too. 48, the baby's going down for a nap, everyone. 48 feels kind of heavy to me. Ooh, okay. I don't know. So this is called 59. And this is interesting. Are they, are the numbers, it seems like the numbers are getting, going with it. This is clearly light. I wonder if we can see a correlation between the numbers and the amount of value. Oh, that is an interesting color. I'm gonna outline it. I love this one. Okay, 104. Hmm, this feels like it might be out of place. Six. But it's so intense in weight that we kind of have it over here. Okay, ooh, I might be running out of space soon, so I gotta really smush these together. Okay, that is interesting. 17. Oh, we're into gray territory. Grays are really great for layering on top of colors. Okay, warm gray four. WG4. Oh, this is wrong. Okay, right here, this is wrong. CG2. Those babies here. CG2, that is wrong. This is a light gray. I don't know where it would go. Maybe more over here. And maybe 104 should go that way. And it's okay if it's wrong, right? But you're just kind of getting to know your colors, reacquainting yourself with your art supplies this week. Okay. Uh, okay, 80, 68. 68. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this one. Oh, so beautiful. 76. Guys, I love color. I think it's the coolest thing in the world. 76. I have all the sunlight coming in. I'm going to turn off my light. I see some of you guys, sometimes you draw on the shadows, you know, in your space. Really 
Try to make sure your space is well lit this semester, 77. That makes sense, 76, 77. So some of these are spot on. Others, adjustments, and art's about adjusting. Okay, that seems like it's in the wrong spot. F04. F clearly stands for fluorescent. It's like a highlighter. F04. I don't know where that would go. Maybe all the way over by the other F. That is out of place. Huh, that one looks funny too. This is eight. I feel like eight should go over here too. Eight, 23. And you can also arrange colors, you know, and like explore different ways. Any any way that you post arranging your colors beyond this, I'll give you extra credit for. You can or organize them in warms and cools. 23. Oh, what is this? 84. 84. very similar to 68. 67! Huh! Is 67, which is a smaller number, darker than 68? Let me know what you think. Ooh, look how dark that green got. That green clearly has a lot of black. Guys, I think I'm going to run out of space, FYI. Don't hate. Don't hate. Okay, 68, that's 42. I really like how the pen looks on top of the marker. I think it's just gorgeous. Don't worry about it bleeding, they bleed. Okay, again, you could do this with any set of markers. These are alcohol-based markers, 21. And it's just to kind of get to know things, 21. Ooh, getting darker, 94. And I think I gave this assignment last semester, but I didn't make a video. So everyone was like, whatever, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, this already, this color feels like I'm out of. Yeah, that, this is lighter than that. What number is this? 46. So I feel like 46, Ugh. where does it go? Is it darker than maybe here? This one feels a little light. This 23 feels like it's going there, right? And it's okay, just draw little arrows, right? It's about getting to know your colors. Okay, what we got here? 56. 56. Welcome back to class, guys. 65, it's gonna be interesting to make choices with drawing after you do this exercise. And lights and darks, 65, six. Hmm, that does seem dark. It's a hot pink color, very intense. Six, 15, okay, red. And my kids have been using this color a lot, so it's going dead. It's okay if your markers go dead, they're meant to be used. Nothing worse than unused art supplies. That's 15. Breathe in. Breathe out, quarantine life. Am I getting darker? I feel like 15 should go there. And maybe even all the way past 21. Maybe past 42, I'm not sure. Doesn't need to be perfect. All that matters is your thinking. Are you thinking? Yeah, that's definitely darker. That's a neat color. Ooh, that's one. This is one. 
How weird. One. So you can look back at this and be like, okay, well maybe I should use some one or maybe I should use some seven. It's kind of like you're more aware of what you have. So often kids get art supplies and they don't even know what they have or understand it. 70. Okay, 70. All right, here we go. I'm getting close to the edge of my space. Okay, that's out of place. 63. 63 should be over here. Okay, now we're getting into dark territory. Wow, what a beautiful color. I don't know if you guys can see the camera, kind of see. This is, um, for me, this is number 69. That is pretty dark. I'm gonna write 69 up there. Yeah, 63 is out of place. You can see how the colors change. Color always changes when it dries. 69. Yeah, that's out of place. Where did that go? Uh, I'll wait till it dries. This is 83. Ooh, the year I was born. I don't know where I placed that. Okay, 83. Okay, moving on, almost done. Oh, I would almost have enough space. 83, but don't be tripping. Don't get upset if things don't last. This is 81. Okay, so the numbers aren't always spot on 81. Okay, see light to dark. My last ones are grays and then black, right? So this last one is, for me, it's B69, which stands for blue gray. So B69, okay. And the last two I have left, I'll just put them down here next to the word shades. Oh, that seems out of place. I have CG6, cool gray six. Um, CG... Um, C, wait, that's not a G. Six, and then I have black, which would be the darkest color. See, wow, black really stands out. Uh, 120. Right, and then don't forget the color that you don't have, and one of the reasons I wanna get you guys white out is there's white. And that's when you do nothing to your page. So that's important to think about. All right, so this is a cool color scale. Um, you can make little notes, draw little arrows. Um, maybe go ahead and do a star next to your favorite colors, you know, just so you kind of know colors that you want to be aware of. I'm really liking 59. Oh, I love 56. I love blues. I love 83. I love all of these. But really like kind of star your favorite ones and just think about it, think about what you have. And we're gonna keep drawing and we're really gonna um, have fun with sketching. All right, thank you guys.